Now it happened in the month of Chislev, in the 20th year, as I was in Susa the capital, that Hananiah, one of my brethren, came with certain men out of Judah. And I asked them concerning the Jews that survived who had escaped exile, and concerning Jerusalem. And they said to me, the survivors there in the province who escaped exile are in great trouble and shame. The wall of Jerusalem is broken down, and its gates are destroyed, destroyed by fire. When I heard these words, I sat down and wept and mourned for days, and I continued fasting and praying before the God of heaven. And I said, O Lord God of heaven, the great and terrible God, who keeps covenant and merciful love with those who love him and keep his commandments, let your ear be attentive and your eyes open to hear the prayer of your servant, which I now pray before you day and night for the people of Israel, your servants. Confessing the sins of the sons of Israel, which we have sinned against you. Yes, and I and my father's house have sinned. Now I was cupbearer to the king in the month of Nisan, in the 20th year of King Artaraces. When wine was before him, I took up the wine and gave it to the king. Now I had not been sad in his presence. And the king said to me, why is your face sad, seeing you are not sick? This is nothing else but sadness of the heart. Then I was very much afraid. I said to the king, let the king live forever. Why should not my face be sad when the city, the place of my father's sculptures, lies waste and its gates have been destroyed by fire? Then the king said to me, for what do you make request? So I prayed to the God of heaven and I said to the king, if it pleases the king and if your servant has found favor in your sight that you send me to Judah, to the city of my father's sculptures, that I might rebuild it. And the king said to me, the queen sitting beside him, how long will you be gone? And when will you return? So it pleased the king to send me. And I set him a time and I said to the king, if it pleases the king, let letters be given me to the governors of the province beyond the river, that they may let me pass through until I come to Judah. And a letter to Asaph, the keeper of the king's forest, that he may give me timber to make beams for the gates of the fortress of the temple and for the wall of the city and for the house which I shall occupy. And the king granted me what I asked for the good hand of my God was upon me. Today we see the walls of Jerusalem and we read the story of Nehemiah who returned to rebuild them. The Babylonian exile kept the Jewish people scattered and away from Jerusalem for about 60 years before they were allowed to return. Nehemiah was the Jewish cupbearer of the Persian king who allowed him to go to Jerusalem as governor and provided for him to rebuild the walls. Nehemiah rebuilt, then invited the exiles to return and worked to restore, restore the faith and religious practices of the Jewish community there. Nehemiah rebuilt the outside of Jerusalem, but his efforts to renew the faith of the people were even more important as we approach the end of the season of Advent, we prepare to decorate our homes to reflect the joy of the Christmas season. Even more importantly, we prepare our hearts to receive the news of our Savior's birth and to renew our desire for his second coming. O oh Jesus, you humbled yourself and came to us as a little child, yet eternal God, help us to become humble and childlike and enter more deeply into the mystery of the incarnation. Amen.